My name is Monty Halls, I'm a marine biologist and a television presenter and for eight months I lived and worked as a crab fisherman down in Cadworth in Cornwall. I think there's some fairly entrenched positions at the moment between uh, the fishing community and the scientific and conservation lobby and particularly the fishing community and the legislative lobby as well. There's a lot of suspicion there and uh, a fair amount of sort of hostility and uh, previous experiences have not been positive ones, particularly for the fishermen. They've had some very negative experiences with heavy-handed legislation and people handling things in a less than diplomatic way. To move forward, I think everyone has to communicate. It's so obvious that everyone has to communicate. It's not the fishermen that are going to make the legislation. Um, so they must communicate with the legislators. And the legislators obviously must communicate with the fishing fleet. These are the men who, um, they're on the coalface and they understand the industry better than anyone else. Of course they do. But again, you follow that argument through and you say what you can't do is draw the wagons in a circle and say, right, only we know what's right because a lot of fishermen don't see the big picture. So they need to speak to people who are gathering the data. And so it's essential that everyone communicates. Otherwise we're gonna get nowhere, we're stuffed, unless that happens. I, can I say two things? I'm not gonna say one thing, I'm gonna say two things. One is that I, I think um, it's extremely important that uh, the scientific and conservation and legislative lobbies actually um, physically go and sit and speak with fishermen, physically go and work on a boat, physically sit down in the pub, have a beer and have a natter to the fishermen. One of the things the fishermen said to me again and again in Cadworth was, we've never had a conservationist on our boat. They just, they've never asked, or somebody who makes the legislation, has never asked to come out on a boat with me or sit and have dinner with my family and, and talk about the issues facing me as a fisherman in Britain today. So that's one side. Physically, I think we need to get in there and engage. But the flip side of that is that the fishermen must accept that when someone wants to come on their boat, they should accept that they should come on their boat, they should allow them to come on board. It's no use, I think, the fishermen complaining that the scientists and the legislative, uh, the people who made the legislation never come on board, and then when they ask to come on board, say, no, I'm not having you on my boat. So that both sides have to, but I think that physical, it's quite amazing when you sit down and chat with a fisherman and say, actually, no, this is what a marine conservation zone actually means. It doesn't mean you can't fish anymore. It just means, you know, there's certain types of fishing might be restricted in this area or whatever. And suddenly all well, the light bulbs go on. They're like, oh, right, I didn't realise that. You know, I think that direct communication is just key.